Hey guys, welcome back to my Warframe Update 14 walkthrough. Today I'm going to be looking at Operation Cryotic Front, also known as Update 14.5. So, with this new update, um, the devs have given us a few new things. Um, they gave us a new mission type, also known as Excavation. I'll explain a bit about that later on. Um, also with that, they introduced a new enemy type that sort of complements the mission. They also finally released the last set of elemental dual stat mods, which is uh, which is pretty much the ice ice mods. So if you're fortunate like me, I now have all the dual stat elemental mods. So been waiting a while for that. So glad that shipped. And the other thing this update gave us was the new corpus tile set. Um, so it's like an ice corpus ship ice mission something like that, you'll see in the gameplay. Um, so I'll just explain with this operation how it works. As you can see here I've redone it. But basically how the excavation mission types work is it's similar to survival except um, you have to locate a scanner in the mission. Once you locate it, the scanner will detect these excavation drills and what you have to do is you have to defend them while, you, while they drill. Um, and this gives you uh, a new type of component. Uh, I forget what the component was called. Uh, I'll probably put that the name of it post edit. Um, the key is these drills work on a power source, so they their power source gets drained, and you have to kill these new enemy types, which carry power sources, and then take the power sources to the drills to um, keep them going. So let's just get started. So we'll go to Europa. Europa, have you pronounced that? in search of lost artifacts and items buried deep below the surface. Keep the scanner powered while it analyzes terrain. See, as you can see, this is the new tile set. So right now we're just hit going to locate the scanner. Sometimes these maze corridors get a bit tricky, so you gotta watch out for that. Uh, so yeah, if you haven't done this operation yet, when you first start it, you won't have this tile set unlocked. Um, I think you have to get a thousand points before you unlock this one. I'm not sure, something like that. Alright, so if you can see in the top left corner, it has the power, it's slowly draining, and the scan time left for it to finish extracting, or excavating the uh, new element, new cryo element. I just gotta make sure it doesn't get destroyed. And that enemy I just killed is what carries the power source. As you can see, I just replenished uh, 20 power to the to the um, excavation drill. Excavator destroyed. Protect the remaining dig sites. Excavator is ready to go. Keep you can tell which enemy types have the uh, power source. They carry them on their back. You'll be able to see. I'll show you if I find one. But they just look like corpus crewmen and they have the uh, power source on their back. There we go, right there. And if you haven't noticed just then, um, the mods look different. I'll comment on that later on. An excavator has taken critical damage. This mission is over if you lose all excavators. The scanner needs more power. Find a cell. 
So yeah, you gotta protect the excavation drills. Proceed to the dig site. The excavator is ready to go. Keep it powered and protect it from enemy fire. It's a lot easier to do this in a team because you get swamped from all directions and sometimes there's multiple um, drills on the map. Alright, sweet. I'm just gonna head to extract. Looks like heavy activity ahead. New lift, that's pretty cool. So yeah, I actually like this uh, new tile set. Nice change. Does get a bit confusing times on this map. Excavator deployed. Protect the unit while it extracts the artifact. I'm actually surprised this event came so quickly because we only had um, breeding grounds only like a month or two ago. They already got ideas for update 15. They've actually got a name for it. So this update's been gone. Has gone pretty quick. There we go. There's the new mods and how they look like. Alright, now by the time I upload this, the PC event will probably be finished, but maybe if a PC, PS4 player or an Xbox One player sees this, um, they might benefit. So, basically, there's the there's a criteria you need to meet to get the certain rewards. Um, so to get the emblem, you need to extract 500 of those cryo components. Um, to get the cryotic mod pack, which is the dual stat mods, you need 1000. And to get the Latron Wraith and the Polar Glaxion skin, uh, you need 3,000. Now, um, don't try and get 3,000 at first. You can, but it's a lot more difficult because what happens is after, after you beat each criteria, you unlock a new, um, you unlock a new Crotic Front tile set. So I think you start on Earth and the next one's at Phobos and then the last one's at Europe on the new tile set and with each criteria you meet or each um, thing you unlock um, the next tile set gets you more cryotic per excavation I think at, on Earth you only get 100 right. per drill um, with the next one you get 200 and with the last tile set I just did you get 300 per um, Per drill, I think I'm not 100%, but I'm pretty sure that's how it was. So it was wasn't that hard to get to 3,000 on the last mission in the squad. So do that, you know, just uh, do the with well, the first time you do it, just get to a thousand, um, unlock the new tile set, then go to that in the squad and do the the free try and go for the 3,000 mark to unlock the new Latron. Now, one thing I do want to comment on um, is the new mods. Because um, if you haven't noticed, the devs change the mods, they look different, um, they also kind of collapse and then expand as you mouse over them. Now, I have been pretty positive in my criticisms of Warframe Update 14, but with this I have to be honest and I have to be fair, I think this change is terrible. Um, I, I personally feel it is a step, I feel, at least a few steps backwards. Um, the old mod system was very simple, very easy to, to look at. You know, you look at it, 
the the uh, you see straight away what rank you're at. You can see the polarity. Um, the contrast was nice. Everything looked good. This one, it's a bit harder to see everything, um, especially the ranks at the bottom. The dots are really small. Also, the appearance. It kind of looks like something you would see on a medieval RPG. That's just the feel I get from it. The old mods, that were simple, and the way they look, they kind of meshed well with the the uh, tech um, space ninja type of feel of Warframe. So I felt it really blended in well. This one, not so much. So I really don't like the new mods. Um, but hey, that's just my opinion. Maybe other people have a different opinion. Um, so yeah, hopefully they'll change that, but we'll see what happens. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, um, as usual, I'll see you next time.